Hello friends, how is your day going? Doing pretty well? You are tuned in to the Daily Wager on the Intelligent Thoughts Podcast. My name is Dustin Coyle, and this is the Daily Wager for Thursday, May 11th, 2017. Kind of procrastinated this one a little bit. Uh, it's like, what, 1230 Mountain Time? Uh, just because of... Uh, some uncertainty in the game. Actually, I guess we should talk about last night's game, first of all. Uh, 0 for 2, kind of fucked up. That one was really shitty. Uh, somehow, the big night, uh, the 30-point night from one of the helpers did happen. Uh, Avery Bradley has the best game of his career. 29 points, 25 in the first half. Um, Goddamn, great game for Avery Bradley. He shoots uh, 12 for 19 overall, 4 for 7 from downtown. Um... Puts up 29. Horford chips in with 19 points. Crowder uh, chips in with 18 points as well. So that kind of negates uh, how necessary little Isaiah is. He has 18 himself. Nine assists. Should have picked that uh, that assist category there. God damn it. But he goes six for seven from the line. The over under seven and a half. Basically, he fucking miraculously did not get to the line uh, enough. I cannot fucking believe this. I thought this was a shoe in If everybody else would have played a little bit shittier, I think we would have won that. Uh, pretty upset about that. And then what else? John Wall, 14 and a half assist rebound combination. John Wall has a horrible game. 21 points, um, which is fucking... It's weird that he even finished with 21 points. Just four assists, four rebounds, off the mark by a long shot. Uh, actually shoots 7 of 17, two blocks... Guess you could have a worse game than that. Super effective. Um, not super important in the game. Boston blows them out. They win 123-101 at home. They go up 3-2 to in the series. They'll be going back to Washington on Friday, tomorrow. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of a shitty one there. Um, all right, enough about that shit. Let's talk about today. Game 5. Nope, game 6, excuse me. Um... 6 o'clock, ESPN, San Antonio Spurs at the Houston Rockets. Uh, Kawhi might not play. I guess so. The, basically the news of this whole situation is that Kawhi Leonard cur- currently is questionable. Let me double check this with the news right now. It says that he is a game time decision for game six. Uh, he vowed to play, what, Tuesday night? He said he was going to play for sure on Thursday. I kind of think that this is a little bit of Pop uh, Popovich just not get really putting his cards on the table, just kind of telling uh, telling uh, the media as little as he possibly can. I think that Kawhi will probably play. I was surprised just you know after Tuesday him saying that uh, that he would play for sure. I was pretty surprised to wake up today and see the news that he was officially listed as questionable. I think that if he plays in the game, again, like I said, like I've been saying this whole series, I think it should be a damn near a pick game. And honestly, I feel like uh, it, the, the Rockets talked about it a little bit, seemed like a little bit demoralized. James Harden played horrible in game five. Over a 12-minute scoring drought for James Harden in game five. I've never seen that from him. With Kawhi out, the final... Hell, I don't even know what, eight minutes? James Harden uh, was a virtual no-show, didn't really do a whole lot of anything for the Rockets. That was a time, you know, when you would think if you're going to be uh, the MVP or at least play like the MVP, or at least in consideration, that when the other team's best player is on uh, or off the floor, that uh, that's definitely the time when you have to be able to take over the game. He didn't do it. Uh, they ended up losing Game 5, really disappointed. The team looked really, really drained. I think playing seven players was a horrible, horrible mistake for Mike D'Antoni. I would imagine that he's going to play more today, uh, maybe just you know somewhere in between five and ten minutes for some other players, uh, maybe two other guys, just to get them a rest, literally just, just to get them a rest. These other guys looked so drained come the fourth quarter, including Harden. He was getting beat up quite a bit, and uh, he doesn't really, you know, I'm wondering if he has like a hurt ankle or something. He hasn't really moving as, as well as he uh, normally seems to be. But 
Um, let's take a look at the spread real quick on this one. <clears throat> and now this is with a, a questionable Kawhi Leonard. We have the Houston Rockets down three games to two, minus six and a half points. The juice is moving their direction as well. That puts us at a money line of minus 290 for the Rockets, plus 245 for the San Antonio Spurs. I can only think that that has to, has to be partially represented, maybe even by a Kawhi absence. Uh, absence. I wonder if uh, people didn't kind of prematurely jump the gun on the Kawhi Leonard injury as far as this money line. Because like I said, if Kawhi plays, I would expect it to be a plus 110, a plus 120, uh, minus 130, minus 150, 140, somewhere in that range. So this is pretty massive to me. I say there's two sides of this coin, though. The thing is, if Kawhi Leonard does not play at all, I would say a minus 290 for the Rockets at home is more than likely. So if you're down uh, Kawhi Leonard and you're down, obviously, Tony Parker, Two of your three best scorers, you know, your best player. The odds, as poor as, as Harden played, you know, for the majority of this series, really. A minus 290 is not that bad. I, I, you know, it, it's almost money in the bank. If you lose on that play, then it's, you know, there's not a whole lot that you can do. I, I would just have to say the demoralization of the Rockets would have to be complete. Like I said, I've already put uh, money on the Spurs to to win the series. I don't see the Rockets win both of these games. But uh, I say we wait until game time. You know, Even if you have to do a live betting look right after the game or right at the very beginning of the game to, uh, to get this pick, wait to see what Kawhi is doing. Um, Wait to see how he looks if he if he's running properly and everything. And if Kawhi starts, I say a plus two forty or what is that? Was it two forty five? It was uh, yeah, plus two forty five. To me, I like that for San Antonio. Uh, if you don't, if you see no Kawhi Leonard there, then I think a minus two ninety is uh, appropriate. Probably, I guess for um, yeah. I mean that's that's pretty appropriate for the Rockets without uh, playing against the Spurs without Kawhi. Now. This is going to change. You have to be on this quickly. As soon as the word comes out, I would continue to check. You know, they say it's a game time decision. Maybe four o'clock. You hear, you know, he's going to play or he's not going to play or whatever. the The lines are going to move pretty quickly after that. So just keep your ear to the uh, to the ground on that shit. Look for that um, that news coming on Kawhi Leonard, and then bet accordingly. There's one prop bet I kind of like. It's kind of the same thing as yesterday. We have a over under eight and a half free throws made. James Harden. The over is a plus one ten. Under a minus one thirty. Uh, I think that if Kawhi doesn't play, I might take that. If he does, probably lay off it. You know, he seems to get fouled a fuckload. I mean, he only has to. You know, he shoots such a high percentage, really. He only has to get fouled maybe once on one of those threes, and then a couple other times he's going to make it there. You know, thought that about Isaiah last night, but, I'm, you know, and he was close. He really only needed <clears throat> he only needed to go to the line one more time. But, uh, you know, close but no cigar doesn't count. All right, that's going to take us to the end of the show. It's been an enjoyable one. Sorry about it being late. I uh, hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Keep your ESPN app updated. Um, maybe your Twitter app. Keep your eye on Kawhi Leonard. To win some money. Otherwise, have a good day. I love you.